I see a lot of people talking in the media lately about how, oh, you know, ChatGPT just doesn't give you the kind of quality answers. Um, and they kind of talk down the results that you get from ChatGPT. And what I say to that is, it will give you boring answers if you put in boring prompts. And we're going to be looking at how to do good prompts that get good answers. But even beyond that, the kind of people who are, I suppose, out talking against ChatGPT and the use of ChatGPT are the kind of people who are maybe from creative agencies or maybe they're from PR agencies or maybe they're from large brands who have a lot of agencies who service them. OK, and yes, the kind of output that a brand with a, a myriad number of agencies servicing them is able to produce is going to be really good. But where I'm operating is I'm working with businesses that have maybe one or two or maybe if they're lucky, three or four marketing people and they don't have a massive amount of budget. They don't have a load of time. And what they are finding is that when they use ChatGPT correctly, they are getting really good results. That's 80 percent of the way there. And then they can use their own human intervention to lift them and make them better. They are finding that they're getting a huge amount of work done. One of the women who did my course, her name is Georgia from Artessa Coffee. And she was saying that in her 12 years of running her business, she had never been able to be on top of all the blog posts, social media posts, email, like all the kind of content that we need to produce in our businesses as as mark, as digital marketers. So she started using ChatGPT. She was on top of things. She was scheduling things. And coincidentally, her business increased by 20 percent in five weeks. So. For the people who are kind of dissing ChatGPT, diss away. But for those of us who actually have to produce huge amounts of marketing without agency support on little budget, it actually really helps.